Roblox is a portamento of robots and blocks. Some mistakenly compare Roblox to Minecraft, but Roblox was around long before the first lines of code for Minecraft were written. It's completely different. 1989 It all started in August of 1989 when David Batsuki founded a company named Knowledge Revolution. It concentrated on mechanical simulation software and educational physics. During his time as president of the company, he met Eric Kessel. After the company was bought by MSC Software, he and his business partner Eric Kessel took on senior positions in the company. This gave them the freedom to make an exciting new start, the creation of Roblox. 2004 Fast forward to 2004, when Batsuki and Kessel worked together in an office in Melano Park, California, consolidating their concept and starting work on a new project. They took their love of physics and decided to turn it into a fun game for children. After a few years at MSC Software, they remained friends and decided to start another new project together. Seeing children doing amazing and funny things with his programs, he got the inspiration for Roblox. He started working on his idea in 2004. 2005 In 2005, a version was made available for beta testing. It came out of beta and was renamed Roblox. Interestingly, the application was originally called Dynablock during its first test phase. 2006 Roblox first entered the world of online gaming in 2006. This year, the program passed beta testing and was renamed Roblox because Dynablox was challenging to remember. At the time, the game boasted about 65 million active players each month, with around 178 million user accounts on the gaming platform. 2007 In March of 2007, Roblox became compliant with COPPA with the addition of SafeChat a chat mode that limited users under the age of 13 to communicating by selecting predefined messages from a menu. Roblox points were replaced by Robux, introduced on May 14, 2007. A new currency, tickets, were introduced in August 2007, and premium membership, the Builders Club, became available on August 16, 2007. The first currency Roblox used was Roblox points. These were issued as daily login bonuses for playing minigames. This was changed to Robux on May 14, 2007. Another form of currency that was discontinued was ticks tickets. Players would get a few ticks per day if they logged into Roblox and could exchange them for Robux. In August of 2007, Roblox released a premium membership service known as the Builders Club. 2009 in 2009, the company expanded onto other platforms such as the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And in 2010, Roblox released its first game on Apple's App Store. 2011 The first Roblox convention, the Roblox Rally 2011, was held in San Francisco on August 1, 2011. 2012 A similar event called the Roblox Game Conference 2012 was held in the corresponding year. On April 1, 2012, the site was compromised, which enabled an unknown individual to vandalize the website. Banners were added to the site, which displayed offensive content like, Haha, these are so funny, let's go spam the forums about them. Happy face emoticon. Countless other banners with offensive content were also added. Some users were given large quantities of Robux, and several users were compromised. The most notable being one dev 2 Roblox then responded by taking the site down for maintenance to resolve the issues with the site. The site returned on April 2nd, and sometime around April 4th, all users who were involved in the hacking were terminated and IP banned in precaution against any further attacks. A trading system allowing users to trade limited and limited unique items was enabled for all premium members on July 12, 2012. On December 11th, 2012, Roblox started supporting mobile devices. 2013 on September 24, 2013, Roblox established a price floor for clothing at the Avatar Shop. The minimum price to sell a t-shirt was set to 10 Robux, and the minimum price to sell shirts or pants was set to 20 Robux, or 120 tickets. In the same year, the Developer Exchange program was released on October 1st. This program allows developers with the Outrageous Builders Club membership to earn money by exchanging Robux. To make money, you must be over 13 years old have a premium membership, and have at least 100,000 Robux in your account. You can also exchange at least as much Robux with the company for real money. Still in 2013, Roblox introduced Roblox Studio, allowing developers to create their own virtual spaces to publish on its online gaming platform on Roblox Club. 2014 In July of 2014, an Android version of Roblox was released. 2015 
On March 31st, 2015, Roblox updated its physics engine from a block-oriented style to a smoother, more realistic style. On November 20th of the same year, Roblox was officially launched on Xbox One, with just a selection of 15 games that were chosen by Roblox staff. Any new Roblox games for the Xbox One must be approved and subject to the Entertainment Software Ratings Board standards. 2016 on March 15, 2016, David Batsuki announced that Tix tickets would be discontinued after 30 days. In April, Roblox partnered with Oculus and launched Roblox VR for the Oculus Rift. More than 10 million games were available in 3D at the time of its release. In the same year, the company introduced virtual reality Roblox so that players could enjoy their games virtually. It's a necessary integrated feature as Roblox became compliant with COPPA. Additionally, the Safe Chat feature was permanently removed and replaced by a new system based on a set of acceptable words for users under the age of 13 and a certain set of blacklisted words for users of older age. What Roblox feature did you like best? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. 2017 The fifth major Roblox logo version is the neatest redesign to date and was done in early 2017. This year, Roblox teamed up with Toymaker Jazzwares to produce toy minifigures of some of the most popular and most recognizable characters from Roblox games. Roblox officials once said during a 2017 developer conference that the creators have collectively earned over $30 million as of 2017. 2020 In 2020, Roblox's name changed from Roblox to Roblox, without the stylized O and capitalization of all letters, instead having only the R capitalized and the rest lowercase. Uploaded to the site in January 2020, Piggy was played 5 billion times as per the data of July 2020. It's a horror-style game that features the elements of Peppa Pig and the indie game in a zombie apocalyptic setting. Its amazing episodic storytelling resulted in a significant rise in its fanbase, leading to its story finale on the 25th of May 2020. Since then, a sequel titled Piggy Book 2 has been published in December 2020. Overall, Roblox was the third highest grossing game of the year, with a revenue of $2.29 billion in 2020. According to Forbes, $325 million was paid out to Roblox creators in 2020, with more than 300 players earning over $100,000. This virtual world was booming, and its developers were raking in real money, while the actual world and its economies were going through a global shutdown due to a pandemic. 2021 in April of 2021, Roblox enjoyed 202 million monthly active users, an upsurge from Roblox's 2020 numbers of 146 million monthly active users. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many companies saw an uptick in traffic that receded as travel restrictions were lifted, and people began to step out of the metaverse and back into the real world. But Roblox stands apart from the crowd. This metaverse has continued to see increased traffic throughout 2021. In Q2 of 2021, Roblox amassed a whopping 9.7 billion total hours of engagement from 43.2 million daily active users. During the Roblox universe's peak, there were 5.7 million users online simultaneously. All of that is made possible by the 9.5 million creators in the Roblox metaverse building the world that is fast-growing population of users and habits. Roblox's revenue has seen nothing but increases throughout the years, with the company fetching $454.1 million in Q2 of 2021. The company earns revenue from fees charged to users, both of the purchase of Robux and subscription fees. Robux can be spent, traded, and made on the platform as users interact with one another, something else that separates Roblox from the other run-of-the-mill simulation games. Most of the games available on Roblox are free for users, but creators make money by offering users enhancements for Robux. This freemium model has become commonplace in gaming. Roblox Premium, another revenue stream, is a subscription that comes with monthly Robux. Roblox is planning a new party place where users themselves will be able to host their own virtual gatherings. In February 2021, the CEO of Roblox, David Batsuki, pitched an idea to investors. He intends to incorporate VR headsets and allow users to build their own worlds entirely within Roblox. He also asked us to imagine a virtual reality version of Ancient Rome, an entire ancient city that Roblox users could visit and explore. Make sure to visit our channel and watch our other videos if you enjoyed this one.